Well, there was no flying today. It's pretty crappy out. So I think I'll stay inside. Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a Mavic Mini Sunshade, just like this one. Use it all the time and it's super cheap to make. This is all you're going to need to make it. Basic supplies. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. I recommend you use this, it's a lot more pliable. Step one, print out the template. Step two, cut out the template. Remember to take your time cutting because this is actually going to be the shape of your sunshade. Step number three, tape your template down to your poster board. Make sure you got a nice secure connection to that poster board. And I like to outline it just in case it moves when I go to cut it. In this case I'm using a white marker. It shows up better on the black poster board. Step number four, cut around your template, being careful to follow the lines and keep the original shape. Once you're finished cutting, go ahead and remove the template from your poster board. Step number five is the folding process. This is crucial to maintaining the shape of your sunshade. Now I was using a real stiff poster board, that's why I recommended that other brand. It's much more pliable and easier to fold. However, all I had was white for that type. This board, every time I would bend it, would crack. I recommend you use a ruler so you get a nice straight edge. In this particular spot, you want to fold it twice. It's one of your main hinges. For this fold, take your ruler and line it up with the base of the sunshade to the outside edge. Just try and keep it as straight as possible. You'll get a much cleaner look when you're finished. That's why I recommend using a ruler. It's a lot easier to line up your edges. That's it. We're ready for our final step. Step number six, cutting and applying your Velcro. Now Amazon sells these little circular stickers. That might be a better route to go, but I just had some regular double-sided Velcro strips that I cut. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you cut them the same size. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. They just have to work. Once you have your strips cut to your desired size, next peel off the backing. Make sure you put the Velcro on the right side. The Velcro has a really strong adhesive and it's hard to get back off the poster board. So you're going to want to go on the outside of these tabs and on the inside of the other tab. I try to center them so that when I apply the two sides together they'll line up correctly. Once you've done this you're pretty much set.
This only cost me a couple bucks to make. It fits multiple phone sizes and folds up neatly for travel. Thank you.